everybody, I am Margaret, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make seed paper. Seed paper is really just DIY paper that we're gonna add some seeds to. That way, when you're finished using the paper, it can be either planted or composted, and you'll know that it's going to grow whatever it is that you put seeds in it for. In my case, it's gonna be wildflowers. The first step is gonna be making a mold and deckle. This is going to be sort of the frame that we're going to use to make our paper square. Then I'm going to show you how to combine the water and shredded paper together to make paper pulp, and then put it all together to make the actual sheet of paper and add the seeds. There are infinite variations on this activity, and I'll tell you some about some of them at the end. The first thing that we're going to do is to make the mold and deckle. This is the tool that's going to allow us to make square sheets of paper out of the paper pulp. To do this, we're going to start with two pieces of canvas. So this is framed canvas. It's got the wooden frame on the inside and the canvas is stapled to it. We're going to need some window screen, a hammer, and some tiny nails. You can also do this with a stapler or a staple gun if you have one of those. And I have a pair of scissors and some pliers just in case I need help either cutting the screen to fit or removing the staples that hold the canvas on. So first thing, let's take the canvas off of the frame, off of both frames. Now that we have two wooden frames, make sure that you take all of the staples out because we're going to need to be attaching something flush to the flat side of these frames. When you look at the frames, they'll have a flat side and the other side will have a bevel to it. On one of the frames, we are going to attach the screen to the flat side. Your screen, maybe uh, you may have to cut it down to size. I would suggest centering it over the frame first, nailing it down, and then trimming the edges. So go ahead and do that now. Be careful with the tiny nails. If you can, Start them by putting them into one of the holes that a staple came out of, so you don't have to try and hold it with your fingers while you hit it with the hammer. I would suggest also going along one side first, pulling it sort of tight across the middle, going down the other side, and then do the two short ends. Because we want this to be nice and tight so that it doesn't bend too much when we put the paper in it. Now that it's nailed in place or stapled, um, what you can do is trim the extra off. And then if you'd like to do even more, you can duct tape around the edges to hold the rest of the um, screen in place. You now have a mold and deckle. Now we're gonna make the paper pulp. To make paper pulp, you need water and you need shredded paper. I'm gonna be using an old newspaper for my paper and I'm going to be pulping it in a blender. If you don't have a blender, that's okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna soak your shredded paper overnight in water. Then use your hands to break it up into a pulp once it's really, really soft. If you do have a blender, fill it halfway with water and put about two or three handfuls of your shredded paper on top. Then blend it until it's pulpy.
when your paper is pulped, pour it into a large shallow basin or plastic bin like I have, that's big enough for you to put the mold and decal completely inside. Now it's time to make it into paper. You may want to add additional water to the pulp that you've created. The more water that you have, the thinner the paper is going to make. The more pulp you have, the thicker the paper is going to be. So go ahead and add water if you'd like to make thinner pieces of paper or leave it as is if you'd like to make really thick pieces of paper. I'm gonna add water to mine. Now, you're going to need some paper towels or a sponge or some other absorbent material to help us remove the water from the paper when we pull it out of the, the bin. You're gonna need your mold and decal and you're going to need something like parchment paper, for example, that you can lay your piece of new paper on to dry flat. You're also going to want some seeds. Little seeds won't be as obvious. Larger seeds you'll be able to see in the paper when it's done. That's up to you. Now, let me prepare my space. You're gonna want an area that you can turn the paper out onto when you're pulling it out of the pulp. Um, and then we're gonna sponge it off and then we're gonna lay it to dry. So, here we go. To hold the mold and decal, start with the decal and hold it with the screen side up. Then take the mold, put the flat side, not the beveled side, but the flat side of the mold against the decal and hold it tight so that you've got the screen in the middle, okay? We're going to put this into the pulp. We're gonna smooth it around a little bit so that we get an equal amount of pulp all over the surface and then pull it out, okay? Here we go. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? Give it a little shake if you'd like. Just pouring the excess water off. Now, you can remove the mold. Come over to your drying surface and gently flip it out onto your drying surface. You wanna set the long side of the decal against the table and just sort of flap it over. Leave the decal on while we press it with either paper towels or if you have a sponge or other towels, whatever it is that you're gonna be using to sort of take the moisture out. Once you've dried it sufficiently, gently lift the decal, leaving the paper on your drying surface. See, I've got my lovely gray recycled newspaper paper. Now you can take your seeds and sprinkle them over the top of your damp sheet of paper. Just 
and transfer it to a drying surface. You can press the seeds in with the parchment paper if you'd like. If you're doing this on paper towels, just be careful when you're taking the paper towel off the back because um, it's going to want to stick to it. Now let that dry. It'll take, depending on how thick it is, two to four days for it to dry completely. When it's done, you can cut it up, write messages on it, send it to people, and let them know that when they plant it, after they've finished reading whatever you've sent them, it'll grow some wildflowers. So now that you've had a chance to make some very basic seed paper, let me tell you about some of the things that you can do to change up the recipe. You can add acrylic paint or dye to the liquid with the pulp if you'd like to make colored paper. You can also adjust the color of the paper by changing the kind of paper that you put in it. For example, the newspaper is always going to make a sort of grayish paper, but that's because the paper is sort of grayish to begin with, and then you've got all the newsprint, so the ink that's printed on it is gonna sort of make it sort of gray. If you were to use, for example, office paper, that have been recycled, you'd end up with more of a white colored paper. If you have mail that comes to your house in like yellow, orange, and blue, then all of those can be recycled as well and they will make paper that is that color. When you make the paper pulp, after you've blended it all together, you can add stuff to it that will retain their shape in your paper. So for example, you could make confetti paper by making the paper pulp and then adding to it hole punched pieces of like construction paper. Then when you put it together and make the paper, the construction paper will still be in the same shape that you put it in. It's not gonna break up so quickly that it's gonna lose its shape. So you'll end up with the hole punched pieces mixed within your paper. You can also make different shapes. So instead of using the mold and deckle, you could use a cookie cutter on top of something like a coffee filter. If you set it on a table and you take a scoop of your um, pulp and put it inside and push the water out gently, you can end up with all kinds of different shapes. Whatever cookie cutter you use, that's what you'll end up with. I hope that you have fun experimenting with making your own paper and that you take some time to recycle and enjoy nature. Happy Earth Week. See you next time. Yeah.